In this video, what's the warmest wetsuit for cold open water swimming? It might not be the most expensive wetsuit out there. When I first started winter swimming here in Scotland, I emailed all the wetsuit manufacturers and said, okay, which is your warmest wetsuit? And I didn't really understand when most of them replied and said, well, it depends. Now that's the correct answer, but it's not particularly helpful. So I hope this video will be. Wetsuits work by trapping a layer of water between the suit itself and your body. It is a wetsuit, you do get wet and then your body heat warms that trapped water. The thickness of the rubber determines the rate at which the trapped water cools compared to the outside water, so you might assume you would want the thickest layer of rubber possible. However, swimming is a hands above the head sport when swimming front crawl, for which these suits are made. For your hand to move freely over your head in the swimming motion, you need a lot of freedom at the shoulders, and that means thinner rubber around that shoulder joint and arm. We had someone come to one of our charity swims in a really thick wetsuit. I think it was a surf or windsurf wetsuit, and it was so thick he couldn't get his hands above his head, so he swam through the water like a paddle steamer. Thicker is not necessarily better. But your chest and thighs don't move much, and there are major organs and arteries, so swimming wetsuits place thicker neoprene here, usually 5mm. Most swimming wetsuits are the same thickness, 5mm on chest and thighs, thinner over the arms for movement. So if they are all the same thickness, how can some be warmer? The main factor is fit, but before I mention that, let me point out this orange fleecy layer on these Blue 70 thermal wetsuits. It's not a regular fleece, but it is a thermal layer and it seems to add about five degrees Celsius of comfort. That's in our experience. Blue 70 have given me some discount, but that is not why I'm saying this. I like their suits because the most important factor is fit. While you swim, you want the water that your body heat has warmed to stay trapped within the wetsuit. If the wetsuit is too large, then as you swim through the water, the suit will flush. Warm water will flow out, cold water will flow in, and you'll quickly get cold. So the warmest wetsuit is the one which fits you tightest. When you first buy it, it should almost be too tight. You should feel squeezed because it will stretch with use. You have to put it on properly. Check this video that I made to show how it, to get it hiked up on the shoulders with no chicken wings. That's absolutely crucial. My Blue 70 suit has lots of different neoprene panels, stitched and bonded together. It also comes in a range of different heights and body shapes and sizes, because different panels allow the company to vary the cut. You have more chance of finding one which fits you. Not exactly a tailor-made suit, but better than a simple off-the-peg. As a result, it's relatively more expensive. Compare that to this basic wetsuit. It has far fewer panels and comes in a smaller range of sizes. But of course, it's cheaper. There's no guarantee that the expensive wetsuit with all the different panels will hug you tighter than the cheaper basic wetsuit. It is entirely down to your body shape. You need one that doesn't gape around the neck, between the shoulders and around the small of the back, down to the buttocks. If there are gaps here, they will flush with cold water. If in doubt, go tighter. Shops rarely stock more than a few brands, so what we did was to buy a whole range of wetsuits from online retailers. We took great care not to damage them when trying them on, using soft gloves to protect the rubber. Then we returned them all before they hit the credit card. That was, in our experience, the best way we found to discover a brand that was cut in such a way to give a really tight fit. And if you already have a wetsuit that's getting a bit chilly, you can help yourself. Pour some warm water down the front and back of the wetsuit before you swim, and that gets the suit to stick to your body even tighter so it doesn't flush with cold water quite so much. And if your suit is stretched, you can wear a tight neoprene vest underneath 
and that fills the gaps. I have more tips for cold water swimming in these videos, which you might wish to watch next. Uh, the round circle will help you uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you've enjoyed this, a thumbs up would be fantastic. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.